And I was just thinking about petrol too. Like, you know, think of all the infrastructure and industry behind producing petrol and getting it to the petrol station. That's still I know, I thought, about, I thought about that as well. Well, I, uh, I think it's it, less it, people. This is like you keep thinking, uh, it keeps coming up. I don't know if you think about it, but this idea of the um, simulation or whatever. Because like like the airports and the fuel and the planes, it just, these rabbit holes you go down, it doesn't add up after a while. And there's never an explanation. Um, you know, these, the, the fuel that would have to go to some of these airports, do you ever see these pipelines or do they ever maintain them? I, do they ever go down for maintenance or... They never bring trucks in. What the hell's going on? You know, and yeah. and and yeah. like I don't know if you can see the screen, but these uh, this population graph. How does this make sense? <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. You get to eighteen fifty, and oh, we got people. It's been my thing all the way along. Is this being this population growth? You know, it's just a clear marker of a reset. All these people and no seemingly no information or will be for it. And if it is, it's really sketchy. So that's a massive alarm call. And this says it all. I don't think there's that many people. Yeah, and they, they use wars as a, an excuse of all these people dying. But even, have you guys gone back and looked at like the number of deaths like in World War II? Yeah, less and, than World War One, but uh, that's civilian-wise with the odd course. But it's only like minute percentages of world population anyway yeah. the germany's population increased after 1945 because it was all baby making so um you know I, I, no no it doesn't surplus population it's brilliant for industry and, and for invention you yeah. know drives things forward a little bit or seemingly to but really backwards uh, wars are something else completely see where they're needed though yeah. where they pushes them to the tip of their the Wright brothers in 1912, was it? 1909? And you look at planes from the 1930s, like literally 20 years later, and they're, they're proper planes with engines, fully metal, but yet, you know, 20 years earlier, it was literally a bicycle with a bit of wood tacked to it. It's, oh, man. 12 it's years after, they're machine, they're machine gunning battles and have dogfights with them 12 years after their invention. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. Like, before they can make a plane, they've got to make the factory. You know, they've got to make all the parts, all the machines that can make the parts. They've got to design it all. I mean, is that even possible? You know, it's not even possible, I don't think. It is crazy how this infrastructure keeps going, though, isn't it? How, you know, everything keeps ticking over at a loss for, you know, so long, all year. We, we know how it works, you know, that they print more money and keep it going for X amount of time because it's all rubbish anyway, fiat currency. Just that, they just prove that. You know, what, 20% of all the money that's ever been printed has been this year. <laughs> Great. So, um, <laughs> it's not about that. They just, you know, they got no worry for money. They're just dishing it out like there's no tomorrow, giving it to everyone. You know, don't worry. <laughs> we'll give you the money. Don't worry. Your business will be fine. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. But, yeah, uh, sticky plaster on everything. Is it just? It just looks clearly like there's two different agendas going on. There's two different things being put. I guess it's really up to us to make the choice of what we're gonna believe or follow or act on or whatever you want to say. I am going inside and making a real choice. That's where the the work needs to be done. The inner work, I reckon, at this stage. But yeah, it's not what they're telling us on the telly. The telly tells no truths at all. Never did. So it's not that. So it's something else. So they're distracting the whole of civilization to keep our minds off of what's really going on. It's something else. A secret. Everyone's trying to work it out. It's not a new world, though. It's, uh, they've been here all along. Yeah, it's not new. It's not new. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, I got this one. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. This yeah. yeah. So this is 1915. And... Check this out. This, um, I think this is the part where they fly this plane, which is not a bi-wing. I don't know if you can hear it. The tornado sirens are going off here. 
Is that what oh, that really? Is? Wow. Wow. Hmm. What are you supposed to do when you hear that then? <laughs> well, yeah, not confuse it with the fire alarm, I guess. What? Do you don't <laughs> cover, get under the table, or, you know, anything? Yeah. What you, is it? Duck and duck and. You go in your basement. <laughs> But Don't they've cover. changed it. Now it now it talks to you sometimes. Spooky. Yeah, that 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 what? didn't make me extremely comfortable. <laughs> I know. Voice Just, what are they gonna say? <laughs> I'm looking for the part where they fly. I don't know if this video has it then. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's mad. How is that? I mean, I, I overlaid in a video, I overlaid footage of an air show from 2017, I think it was. Wow. And it looked exactly the same. Yeah, that's moving as well, isn't it? Whew. Yeah. This is 1915. When did the Wright brothers, was it? Uh, 1906, so it's like, you know, it's like a decade after they're doing these things. <laughs> yeah. They'll be fighting with machine guns on them. Yeah, and just like they do with the expositions, here's technology that's really good. And then they had him, they had a fake crash, death, and whatever. Or they maybe they really crashed them, but whatever the case, everybody had to know about it and why that technology would not be, you know, that we're not ready for that, you know, that type of thing. But it's yeah. what I think is yeah. uh, some people, there was a memory of it, there was an exposure of it, they were hiding the stuff, and then. They have the exposition where they show you the stuff like, okay, your grandparents aren't lying. Yes, this exists. But then there's some tragedy or some narrative about why it has to go away. You know? Like the Hindenburg of airships. Mm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's all too dangerous. Got to get rid of it now. It's all for your benefit, guys. All for your benefit. Everything about these expositions and world fairs has a purpose in my mind. For example, Franz Ferdinand was featured at one of these. Um, it might have been this one. Like, who gives a shit? I know about McKin McKinley was killed at uh, an opening of one. Yes, and no doubt it was on a stage. It was part. It was. Plus, yeah, plus. it was part. It was literally theater like Lincoln's assassination yeah. took place <laughs> literally on the stage. The booth, not John Wilkes booth, not just the, him, but booth Lincoln's was booth was on the stage. I know. It's bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. Can't make it a wow, this puzzle's crazy how it all falls in together, isn't it? Yeah. But it's fun to show this to someone who hasn't really looked at it. Oh, there's your bell. Yeah. Oh, oh, ah. there it is. Oh. Liberty Bell. It's hell of a crack for such a thick bell, isn't it? Is that like the? Uh, that uh, looks like that looks like somebody took a router to it. Yeah, a cannonball. Would be <laughs> That's a very yeah, clean crack, isn't it? Yeah, man. There's one way that cannonballs make sense. Have you guys thought about this? Like rail guns. Well, yeah, I have. Or electrified as well, while they're coming out like rail gun velocities. That would work brilliantly. Yeah, yeah I think that might be the case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah, something going on with that. That's a definite clue. They like to wave their clues in your face, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, or in the... The military presence is always there. It's like, I looked at the old gravestones in this area, and it seems like a lot of people Ooh. were military. Like, if you weren't military, you weren't here. They, they say, well, that's because it was dangerous with natives and blah, blah, blah. But I don't necessarily believe that. I was watching them Civil War ones before wondering about it and thinking... Hang on a minute. How, you know, if they were 20, in, you know, say 1865 when it all wrapped up, then, you know, this is a 20. They must be like 90. They look really well and fit. Look at them marching. I couldn't get my head around it. But now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Couldn't even be actors. Mm. I did wonder about that, though. Wow. 
It's yeah, just it seems cold. like everyone's the yeah, same. Yeah, totally. I know. Or clones. It's hardly anyone different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody looks the same. It's a bit like that now, though, nowadays. Oh, here, yeah, this staged fire. Wow. Look Stage. at the photography. Wow, this is great. Crisp. Mm-hmm. Now, it's oldified. You know what I'm talking about? They kept doing that even in up through the 1980s. They oldified footage. Huh. Everything to do with the moon landing is oldified. Like, I mean, like the footage surrounding it, like the control room and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I want to do a video with a comparison because you you had TV shows like Get Smart or Batman made before the moon landing that are as crisp, clear in color, you know, as yeah. anything today. I mean, the resolution is almost HD. Yeah, Batman's brilliant, yeah. Yeah, so they had the ability, but... No, they had to record the most important moment in human history off the, a screen of a television then before they show it to humanity. So, <laughs> third hand, <laughs> a grainy old black and white image. Yeah. Terrible. Roll back 60, 70 years, though, for doing this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I like, know. Uh, the fountains... Are something extremely interesting to me when you talk about like extremely large people. Uh, the fountains, like what? What's the point of these higher up fountains? You know, it's not for horses to drink. They couldn't get to it. You know what I'm saying? It and, revitalizes and, and activates. Yeah, you know, the energy it revitalizes and energizes people, doesn't it? You know, it's like after a shower. And they're standing by waterfalls anyway, the sound, the whole thing is revitalizing, energizing. Yeah. Reacts for the ions, yeah. apparently. Well, that's freaky, isn't it? Why they stick that in? Yeah. And what's with the, the, the German in America? The kind of <laughs> German. Yeah. Yeah, look at this one. And you've got the classic kid as a classical Greek. Give the kid a sword. Is it real? Yeah. Very irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> just push him He's in the well. He's got to fall down the well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my head off a seagull. <laughs> Fly away. <laughs> wow, how weird. But that's like the classical world. It is. I posted last night about this book I found saying that Atlantis or the Phoenician world wow. was in America before. Europe and they took over Europe then, but in America first. That's where the Bible happened and everything. Noah's Ark being down. Europe was just islands at the time, they say. Yeah, I wasn't on board as much with the the idea of the Phoenician stuff, but it's making a lot more sense when you look at the language and they talk about land or sea, mm. even in like. Um, international law being written it's today and things like it's, that it comes up a lot it's the greeks it's the classics it's the titans it's the atlanteans and um, i put an article last night i linked it on my channel and um, just stating that you know they have exactly the same gods and goddesses and they all spell back to the same you know central source so it is they, they, they're the same people they're the and, same practice it's the same civilization you can see here there's no difference between carthage or rome or greece or to or Troy, these are all identical places and these biblical theme places. Same arches, same massive construction, same columns, same Corinthian mm -hmm. tops, same world. Yeah, and Campbell, I noticed you said something about the word anchor or the symbol, the ank, and then you have anchor and how it links with yeah. Phoenician. And then I thought of news anchors. Like, why would you call them an anchor? Maritime term. Yeah. All our lifetimes. That's a good point. Well, we still an anchor. And news is north, south, east, west, just rearranged a little bit. Oh, yeah. So we're there. And, and so it's to navigate 
it's to navigate the talking points and anchor the mind and that type of stuff. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's Phoenician, it's the language. Yeah. So it is. It's what I missed. Just like that. on that too, I was just thinking, you were talking about, about the mud flood, like, you know, got law of the land, land right, which is the people, and then we had a flood, apparently. And, you know, then suddenly it's all maritime law, right, that this flood came in, new laws, new new society, new things to think, all, yeah. all maritime, came with the water. Yeah, maritime laws, everything associated with birth, at birth, out of a canal, birthing canal, and, you know, every aspect of our life, mm. you know, it's aspects of each, yeah, and their venices, and so, their main yeah. laws. So that's the flood, isn't it, really? That's the flood. Yeah. Like the law and everything else is as much as the flood as the water because it brought all the change with it. Yeah, I think that we might get dunked. <laughs> uh, well, they've been doing predictive <laughs> programming about New York having a huge wave come in for ages. It might not come in, it might be a strong. Yeah, good or lifting, vice versa. Yeah. Could have altitude sickness, everybody. <laughs> the thing is, if they wanted to really reset mass amounts of population, you can just tweak something in the water, it only hit certain people, um, and get rid of them that way overnight. But well, not did that's that, no, that, that's no. the thing. It wouldn't be that hard to reduce the population if oh, that's no. really what they were after. Yeah, exactly. So it's, you know, selection makes more sense. Some sort of test, you know. They're giving us yeah, two yeah, yeah. What side are you going to uh, choose? Maybe uh, they're intrigued. Like, like, yeah. Maybe they're intrigued to see how far we're going to take this and where we're going with it. Maybe they want us to do it. <laughs> Maybe they don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like, leave them. Let them see what they find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been stuck in here for, for millennia. Yeah, we almost a... cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a diorama? Do you think here? The way the camera moved. Did that? Oh seem yeah, like... pivot, smooth. Did that seem like a diorama? Hmm. I don't know. This is the other thing, right? Well, yeah, see me. I think it's them tearing it down. Could be. But it seems kind of like a diorama. I don't see any people moving around. No, no, I see what you're saying. And then they've just stretched out and gone along the picture. Yeah. yeah. Like here, there are people moving around. And. Cool. This is after they've torn it all down. Yeah, I've seen the Bay Area after. It's crazy, mm -hmm. isn't it? This is, that's like... But the arts returned that they left in, in, um, in place. And they're using like an old trick. Uh, yeah, everyone's still there. So they're filming a, a projected picture. It's like they're places where they make move sets, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So here, there's nothing moving. Mm. No. It's a diorama, I think. Toy town. Yeah, the tree. Yeah, it was just nothing happening at all. It's all in focus, too. Yeah, it is. Huh. <laughs> and then it goes to a live shot, moving. Yeah. Yeah. Tricky, tricky. And clearly, they're filming a projection. Why would you do that? That's a great way to hide artifacts and things. Yeah. Very good point. Uh, classical world. Look at this. It's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, these mm. white cities, they were like the seats of government. So many people in uniforms and... It looks like it might be a globe or something. Oh, there's um, Woodrow Wilson. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, one of the ways I know that the whole idea of presidents and everything is nonsense is they never have a hot babe, ever. <laughs> yeah. If you're well, that high up. Let me have a think about one. Um, yeah, I know, even um, JFK, she wasn't on that, not really. Um, thing. Yeah. There was, they had really bad wives, in fact. Look at, look at Nancy, Nancy Reagan. She was horrifying. <laughs> Barbara Bush. He should have. He should have stayed with Jay Weinman. Bush. No, don't. <laughs> I'll stick a little in my mouth. It's because because they're all men, though, isn't it? I think it might be. <laughs> what well, yeah, about um, oh, let's not mention uh, the the um, one now. I can't even say a name. Eastern European one. They, they did a. One. Six fingers. Did you see that? No. <laughs> I've seen some crazy videos just lately, though, know, concerning that. Uh, no, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Yeah, these electric cars amaze me. Wow, look at that one. But look at this guy, the way he runs up there. It's just. Yeah, just it's right in the middle. Yeah. No sense, you know, the way they walk in front of trains and, yes. and things like that. Suicidal it's, mode. Sure. It's nonsense, yeah. Yeah, it's just like they're in a world they don't understand. They don't, like, like, like little kids, you know, little kids run out on the road. It's what, how these guys act. Yeah, they had to figure everything out after 1850, for sure. America didn't join the war till what was it about 1916 or just towards the end one of the last year I think uh, 1917 they went over but that was they were they didn't want to go anyway that was I think the Lusitania sort of twisted their arm to go to the war but they really didn't want to go there I don't blame them either yeah why would they Lusitania wasn't that the Titanic no no it's the Lusitania yeah, it was still a big loss of life, and uh, they blamed a torpedo and brought uh, America into the war. But it's just another, you know, false flag, like, you know, like the yeah. old stats. <laughs> like no, uh, yeah. Do you think they tried and failed to start something like with North Korea? And I, I think they're failing at some of the things they're trying. Like like the whole racial war stuff that they've tried, I think it's pretty much failed, you know? Yeah. Like in, in my Definitely. town, they had staged protests, but other than that, you know, if they're not paying people, no one's going to act upset and, and march and do all that nonsense, you know? And here they're trying to figure things out, yeah. like how to do a race. They don't know anything. They're like, it's like oh. a bunch of children trying to do it. And the Keystone Cops, man. That's the replacement yeah. NPCs. <laughs> but yeah, like the 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 whole left right paradigm in the US at the moment is just bizarre, and yeah, everything that, that the left tries just seems to collapse, doesn't it? It's just like everything. They, they hardly even get things launched, and people have just exposed it, and they're like, "Oh crap!" So now that now what do they do? They all they can do is censor everything and, and not let anyone. Out there, and it's so that's it, what makes me feel like you know it is you know the, the bad entities do seem to be like you know in their death throes, they're just like the, the witch oh. and wizard of Oz melting, just yelling <laughs> and screaming. But they're going, <laughs> but they seem to they can't get anything right, hmm. they're just making lots of noise, yeah, yeah, the, it it. When they delete channels that have hundreds of thousands of subs it, because they said something for truth, it pretty much probably really jars some people awake by the tens of thousands, you know? Oh, Seems desperate. <laughs> I think it does. Got a question. Because you've got to ask yourself, you know, there's only one explanation why they would do it, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, certain topics you cannot touch upon on YouTube. <laughs> you are gone. 
Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I've noticed they're all like a fascination with them all. Like, you know, like you said, it's like the first time they've ever seen anything. It's like, every, and they can't get it together because they're doing it for the first time or something. <laughs> Yeah, but it is because all of these like football associations, you know, you know, all this horsey caper, all of it turns at the same time. All of these sports. All right, they'll be off in a couple of years to get blown to smithereens. <laughs> We're yeah, going to join the Chinese Communist Army. <laughs> the like, race of the woods. Like fire brigades, they didn't know what to do they were completely incompetent according to their own stories well that's you know. that's, that's the thing yeah you've got that right because they it's not only incompetence it's just the really inferior fire engines for the architecture about them you've got like superior quality architecture like there and then you've got this crappy little you know steam powered or whatever it is pump and that's the most advanced you'll get it's just rubbish yeah all turns up around the same time as well. I looked into the fire Boston department and it's bill for the uh, fire aft. <laughs> they got given, uh, after Boston burned the ground, 1871, and uh, the bill, like they got given like loads of money off the American government to like buy everything they needed. They built all of these little fire stations in every area of Boston and equipped them all out. But after the fire, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Check that out. Inside, he's got wood. Yeah, highly featured too. <laughs> the trees are really big, though. Next time, on you mentioned. So oh it's yeah, dreams that they've been there for time, and it looks Huge. like the yeah, yeah. It looks like Rome to me. It looks like the old world, the classical world. Mm. They can just chuck in a couple of fake columns to make it look like it's all fake. I think. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, in I think it was the um, it was either this one or the Chicago one. They built this one building separate from the others out of, in particular, flammable wood. You know, and then of course there was a conflagration that happened when attendance was at its peak, and everybody witnessed. And they basically played out like a September event. You know, with people jumping off the top and whatnot. You know, however they did it, I don't yeah. know if they threw dummies off or whatever. But yeah, it, it's it's amazing how much predictive programming they were doing that far in advance. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, this is the thing, it's all, it's all a story, isn't it? And the reason we know is because it's, it's got a script. You know, they, they they have to write the script before they do anything, don't they? It's always written down, and you know, before anything happens, they tell us what it is. It's all scripted. Yeah, they've got the huge amount, like you said, the huge amounts of money they chuck at these stars just to keep the narrative going. Impossible amounts of money, as long as they like, you know, you know. To me, I think as long as they keep singing about globes, they stick them in a song. They've landed. They look after them forever. <laughs> Uh, bands mm. like Queen, who are predictably programming us, you know, with like under pressure. You know, look at the words that puts people on the streets. The whole thing is in there about reset. And um, Pink Floyd, all of these bands, uh, Black Sabbath, all predictably programming these times now. So they're essential. That's why they were pushed like that and made so, you know, massive. Mm. You know, while the nurses and teachers and all these supposedly, you know, jobs that are. You know, pushing pushing us forward to better things. Why are they always on the bottom of the heap as far as pay? Mm. And yeah, like hearts who dance around in the, in the pub with their ass showing get millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, football players are the worst. That really winds me up. That does. Yeah, it really winds me up. And you know, all, all sportsmen really, it really winds me up. All right, they can do something that different people can't. You know, but I'm quite good at football. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, paying them all. They have to be. Because they have to get the people involved, you know, with sport, like they have to create characters, don't they? So it becomes like a movie, and people start emotionally attaching yeah, that's what it to is. these players, and then they're, then they're got them. Then they're going to be in front of that box every weekend, man. And they got them. Their new football star, and his and his like private life, and is he this? And does he do this? And, oh yeah, I guess I'm all involved. Yeah, race drivers too. They're quite popular. <laughs> 
Pause that. <laughs> I wonder if he blew away in the tornado that never hit. <laughs> you had a tornado <laughs> around. Sorry, Like a little one. Is he there? Maybe he got blown away. He probably got blown away. Uh, no, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> He's there. I'm here. I, I was just well, looking for something. Um, right. I, I'm looking for um, something to share. Uh, I just did. It didn't come up. Yeah, I haven't found it yet. I'm just trying to find a, uh, one c picture of a conflagration. Oh, I got it. Conflagration. Now, there was something that with the 1871 Chicago conflagration, yeah. there was uh, one nearby, and there was an account of it that talked about these black orbs that were swirling around. And then they would descend on people and mm. then explode in a huge ball of fire. It was as if they were controlled hydrogen balloons. Right. And something akin to like the TV show, The Prisoner, where he's attacked by a, like a weather balloon. Yeah. If he goes yeah. too far south, he goes, you know, he's getting outside of his um, zone. And it's always to the south on the TV show. And then a weather balloon attacks him and then he is rebirthed out yeah. in, in, by the controllers. Well, it's kind of like that, but this um, account about this fire that wiped out a whole town, it talked about these like intelligently controlled black orbs of kind of a large size, meet, several meters in diameter. Mm -hmm that would like on people descend and explode right into them. Wow. So I don't know if you, if you saw that, but that was, um, no, I know that all was happening fire. on the same day. No, nah. it was the Pistigo event happened exactly the same time as Chicago fire. Yeah. That's, that's what biggest, I'm talking about. The Pistigo yeah. one. Yeah. Biggest event in American history. The, the ash fell on the Azores mid Atlantic. It was that big. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I covered that. Oh, the holy angels, were they? Yeah. I don't know. Is, is it called the American Pompeii, that town, because it got sort of vitrified and stuff? Is that is that the one you're looking at? Because well, I, was, I was in the path of the Bastigo fire outside Chicago when I looked at Freaky. The American Pompeii was called the article. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, massive event that was. That was anomalous too. Entire forest goes up all along Lake Michigan, or works its way down. Chicago goes up separately, as they say. Yeah, right, whatever. And the, the photographs, right, of Chicago fair going up, and the people are just standing there looking on, but like feet away. If this was a real photograph, they'd be starting to oxygen and dropping dead, because this is not a reality. You can't stand close to fires that big. So they were pampered and changed their photographs. I've studied them too. Chicago fire, uh, Chicago exposition fire, I mean, which is a different fire than the Chicago fire. <laughs> it gets complicated. This thing's been rebuilt and built on. I get so confused about it all. Guys lifted out of the mud, buildings moved. Ugh, Chicago's a crazy one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes it easy to remember how things were destroyed. Oh, fire. Yeah, fire. Oh, no, I never heard of that, but definitely fire. <laughs> you find the UAP? Well, uh, not exactly, but I found something interesting here. Oh, that, I, uh, I have to show you. Passing check. Okay, here we go. So these these types of buildings, what do you guys make out of these? Like, what happened here? Is there one of the a monastery up on a mountain, yeah, yeah. Um, what it look it looks like an old, old, older building that's been melted and they've built yeah. 
uh, on the top of them. But then, the, then you get the ones where the bricks literally sort of metamorphosize into the side of the mountain. You know, so you know they melt into Which the is, mountain. yeah, yeah. So I mean, was that at the base maybe of what was left? Because if you think, if these things have been, if, if they're melted. Uh, they've been hit from a, on top, right? I mean, that's what it looks like because it looks like they sort of flow down. So how could anything on the top have survived, if you know what I mean? So that's why it makes me think they've got to on afterwards, but then with the melted bits, are they just building on top of what they, you know, was there just some melted bits left and they've just built on top of them or? It's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it's what what kind of heat would it take to do that? It's just insane, really. It's wow. yeah, lightning can do it. Yeah, a bit of fire. Uh, plasma discharge. I've, I've have you guys seen any of uh, Thunderbolt Project stuff lately? Not lately. I I only watch like necessary ones, anything global, uh, you know, space related. I don't watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, there is. Uh, I think they're pretty sure they're the last three that went up. And um, the um, conspiracies are us video when he was talking about the, the Liechtenstein. Yeah, yeah. Pattern. Yeah, yeah. So this guy pretty much is a three part series, and he explains how that works. Oh. He shows. He sh yeah, he shows the land. He shows them. He shows how. The mountains will raise up when the plasma hits and things expand. He shows the courses, the rivers, um, can, like everything. So, yeah, yeah, really good series. And plasma, you know, a plasma arc, that, that can create a lot of hay very quickly that, that dissipates quickly. And it's just melted, you know. Yeah, exactly that. I guess arcs also hit specific points, don't they? They're not like a bomb that sort of goes blah. And that's kind of what we see. Like you don't things some bits sort of melt, other bits don't look melted. But then we get then we get cities like Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, where the whole thing just looks like it's been Oh they, that looks more that's like a different targeting thing. weapon. <laughs> it's what? You can't order lightning to just strike a city. <laughs> it just looks like this. Yeah, if you know the right that. people, you can. <laughs> no. I mean, if they had all the other tech, you know, why wouldn't they have had weapons? You know, there's stories in the fables of, you know, plasma weapons and huge things like this, wars, you know, big ships flying around in the sky. Yeah, fantastic. You know, I mean, we even get it in the, um, in the religious, have you seen all the, like, the Christian photos with all the UFOs and stuff in them? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. In the Annunciation of Mary. Yeah, heaps of them. UFO in. Yeah, yeah, the that, light, yeah, that one. The light's coming from the UFO and not Gabriel. So, yeah, there's a few out there. I've seen other kind Yeah. Of and that one's really detailed, that UFO. You can zoom right in on it, and it's, it's really detailed. But there's heaps of them. It's like, what was it, Life of Brian, <laughs> where he falls into the into the UFO and goes out in the solar system, gets thrown back out. <laughs> yeah, this, can you see this? This is in Peru, the highlands of Peru. Uh, way up on the mountain. I, I went, oh, is it? Where it is? Yeah. Yeah, there's this yeah. guy, Brian Forrester, he goes there. And, yeah. Finds these things. Um, well, I mean, the locals know about it, but some of it's really technological looking, like this thing. That's way up on a mountainside. Yeah. It looks like it's only, like it's melted into the... I was, I was watching a video on liquefaction today, and it was showing cars... Um, after liquefaction, that were literally half in the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, half the, you, know, you can only see half the car. And, you know, I'm wondering if that, after that hardened, would that just turn into what we thought was, you know, a rock? So, so you see, you know, that bit of the antiquitech popping out, but the rest is actually just sort of being sunk into yeah. 
Yeah, liquefaction mud and harden into rock. Yeah, it's. It, it, have you got is this sexy human on there? Because I tell you what, that's like a staff or a top or something, and it's just melting. Sexy one. Wait, you that just go there. You see there. That's, that's the wall there, the grey one. So the thing has it just melted. The, the entire top is melted. It's just absolutely bricks. Yeah. It's like it looks like Nimrod's hill. It's just this thing's just gone. But you can see the um, antiquity and some, you know, the masonry and the shape of this whatever it was that was there. It's a giant fort on top of that. The one you can see there with the grey the gray, uh, stones that are made fantastically. But above that, the hill above it, was a vlog by a few years ago. Mind-blowing, especially on Google. You can definitely see something was there. It's mm -hmm. melted as well. Although, if I'm honest, at the time, I, was just, I did say liquefaction, but I didn't know too much about melting back then. But it, it, I, I actually stated that. You know what I mean, But no. So what's the purpose yeah, of these walls it's... anyway? What would be their purpose? You know, these these walls. Yeah. And doors yeah. to nowhere, sides of mountains. Yeah, yeah. yeah the like, way it's uh, angled. Yeah, that, yeah. The dimensional gate. Yeah, I've seen it. But that yeah, could be quite like a... maybe a room in there and it's been mud flooded. <laughs> yeah, I think they're impressions. It's just, a, it's like... A, you know, the minerals or some material fills the void. Yeah, this is the one that it really interested me because it's way up, way up there, you know? And... Uh, what would be his purpose, do you think? It, it looks like a, like a console somehow to me, like, like a control board or something mm. like that. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. It's a complicated thing. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how how things aren't really plumb, but these are thought to be when you pour concrete. Um, when you pour concrete, you have this could be a solid wall to start with, but the different pores mm -hmm. that are made over enough time, it would form something kind of like this because of the way it cured. And so people think these are stones that were cut and placed like that but that's <laughs> not it it was probably just a solid yeah, yeah. instead of seamless uh joints so it's all poured. wow nice. yeah well how long have we been talking we could probably wow look at that <laughs> I'm still working after how many years? God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the map, isn't it? That's like um, like a map sort of thing of a city, isn't it? No way, is it? Actually, I saw that, and someone might have been Brian Forrester, and he was pouring water into it, different coloured waters at the top to see where they went down, and they all went oh. down like these different directions, and it sort of took different courses. Huh. It was really, yeah. Cool. It, it does remind me of um, in Calcutta, I think it was, they had uh, these buildings that I thought were like ports or where you would buy tickets to go to a different city because they had on top of the buildings a, a miniature of a city. And it's supposed to just be artistic, you know, flair. But I think it was an accurate map of a different city at the time because intelligent people would do that so okay i want to go to this city there it is i don't speak the language but i understand yeah that's where i want to go <laughs> and Sometimes. so it would make sense that way also because it was yeah, octagonal right. and i think john levi showed that or he i heard him say that uh these all the cities have these octagonal booths that are nearby like the tram lines, train lines, and things like that. They were used either for ticketing or something like that. All right. For yeah, travel. Understand. Yeah. There's the universality of the architecture. That... Yeah, it's big on the, into the elongated skulls, isn't it, Brian? Yeah. He has one. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's a museum there. A lot of people think it that they're fake, but they didn't look fake to me when I looked at it. Yes, but I think his one was given off Lloyd Pios, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, I know. Why would they have a museum if they were fake? Then no. there's heaps of them. They're found them in Russia. They're found them all over the place. I know they have. I've seen them in China too as well. With well what do they call them? Uh, Homo capensis. They haven't got a name. Huh. But that's the thing, and people love to say, oh, it's a skull. What, what's it called? Skull binding? Well, yeah, binds it, it can't yeah. be that because it that. wouldn't increase no, um, the volume. What are the cracks in the head? That we got? Well, that's the thing. I remember when I first looked into it, I think it was Brian Forrester. He just had a skull and he was pouring um, rice or something into him and just said, look, this one's double the size. I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And if they're if they're equal oh. size to us, then they tend to have uh, juvenile characteristics, showing that the people were indeed bigger. Is that the Ben Ben? Story? Yeah. Uh, and there's like Nefertiti. We've got Nefertiti and Akhenaten. They're both cone heads. Well, a lot of the older photographs, they happen to have hats that would cover a cone head. I think that, like you said, uh, about some of the photographs being older, much, much older, I agree. And one of the ways to identify those is that some of the people in the photographs not only are giants, but mm. people who are giants almost always have the cone head shape possible with the dress that they're wearing, they have a hat that is disguising mm. the fact that they have one of these heads. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I went through like ten randomly um, selected photos, and they all had it. <laughs> yeah, they, it was it was remarkable. You'll start to see it once you look look for it. Yeah, it's it's an interesting time. question, you know why, why? Why? Who invented top hat? Like. What's the use of a top hat? Right. You know, wouldn't wouldn't they be hard to keep on your head? It got windy. They yeah, are hard to keep on your head. They really are. Yeah. I got one, and it just slips and stuff. Um, ice pack in there. Some technology. So, maybe the airspace creates some sort of, um, you know, space. You know, something connected with thought. Um, some of these hats have mercury in them. Felt ones treated with mercury. So mercury and some top hats, so electromagnetic properties or attracting maybe. I've been sleeping with a magnet under my pillow, guys. Yeah, helps you sleep. Uh, uh, helps you sleep. You're, you're doing your magnet. I was reading about like the magnets in the mind, uh, basically a magnets in your nose, in your chest, um, and, let, and magnetic particles in your brain. So I read that you could do magnetic therapy. So I mean, I put um. I had like trouble getting to sleep. I put a neodymium magnet into my pillow. I was sleeping like a baby. Wow. I know. I know. I know. So, you know, proper deep, nice sleeps with dreams and everything, you know, proper. Instead of wait, like waking up four yeah. o'clock like that, uh, awake. You know, it's like. That's what I've been doing. I've been waking like, you know, I like sleep an hour and I'm up for like three hours and I just can't sleep. Uh, well, with us, we're thinking about a lot of stuff, aren't we? So, I don't know. <laughs> Is that Superman? Did you just go past Superman? Uh, Scroll up a bit, UAP. Superman from the 1700s. Did you see him? Next line down. Oh, yeah. yeah, there. See? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually is. Even, even Superman was around before the reset. <laughs> Something about that cape helps him fly. They all got capes, I mean, they superheroes. Some of them capes. And you know, Superman, right? He was from the, where was he from? The North Pole, big crystal, yeah, crystal castle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think there's definitely, there's hidden lands for sure. Like, I just saw, I came across something from the north, um, just where roads are outlawed uh, at, above a, a certain latitude in Alaska. It wouldn't make sense. Ah. Like, 
even the forestry workers themselves, there's no, they don't allow roads. Now, why would they do that? Mm. But it's just, you know, with the, like the northern, the northern latitude. They just don't want them going to the north. Yeah, just like with the south, it's a little different though how they do it. No one goes there. Yeah, so here you start um, seeing the cones, the cone oh, heads and stuff. Look at all these cone heads, potentially. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. You know? So yeah. many. Have you heard, heard of Karen Huh? Uh, Karen Hudis or Hudis. She did yeah. a video talking about the Vatican, saying that, that there were heaps of cone heads in the Vatican, and that's why they were there. They're silly hats. Fish, oh. fish hats, yeah, fish hats. Yeah, she's she, she's a. There's even okay. photos of uh, royals from, from yeah, from uh, what? Can't remember what family, but not that long ago, and they've got like the the bound cone heads. Like they they've got the cone heads, but they look like they've been bound, and they're like actual royalty. Those are the Habsburgs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that them? Yeah. yeah. I think the film Coneheads. We we astronauts to the moon. <laughs> these these characters here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone bound his whole head. His whole head. <laughs> Where'd you hate it? I don't want to win. Oh, oh, look at him God. with the chin there. Oh, is that Richard the Third? Oh, that's a hassle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that chin. He could open the that chin. Oh. Right, full family. Jeez, that way. Hey. <laughs> God, I can't Trimmers imagine him being blocked. Royals. Is that a dude or a dude I have no oh, idea. Oh, it's hard to with the Royals. Really hard to tell. It's got fluffy hair with a like, face like he's been boxing. He's got a boxing career. Is that a hat? Yes, <laughs> that's definitely what happened. See, kiddies, this is what happens. I could spot one in a crowd. Practice inbreeding. A Habsburg, I could spot one in a crowd. Mm -hmm. You could spot one of those heads anywhere, jeez. Oh, I see Leopold's hair. Cool, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's just funny that there's so many different pictures, but they all look... Uh, just as messed up. <laughs> I lost with that, though. Uh... You know, oh, there the was a year, like 1925, I think it was, all the royal dynasties came to a screeching halt over. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. All those royal fl families, all the monarchies, yep. they Rolling just off. dropped it. They just dropped it all, you know? Yeah. Oh, they all got overthrown. Yeah. Well, you yeah, some the of them didn't things. abdicate, and then they had bad things happen. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice Italian eagle. Yeah. Well, they're a dodgy lot, aren't they? Yeah. Everybody wants to be a prince, princess? I don't think so. <laughs> Not things. those. I mean that's a that has to be a joke. They have to be just kidding around, honestly. I know. Or or they were actually because you know portraits are usually more flattering. They must. Yeah, have I was going to really say. Been, you know, they could say the artist make me look good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but it, there's just so many of them. Like, and they all look the same. They, I want to. I bring a, wow. a, a, a photograph. I want to look like this person, this jouster. Oh, now we're what's, even what's more cone heady here. Ah. Yeah. Painfully pale as well, aren't they? They're like, you know, really pale. Yeah. Like they've never seen the sunlight. She's got a double cone head going on. Hmm. Uh, oh, God, that's an interesting looking woman. <laughs> what is that, man? Wow. That bridge. Wow. She's from No City. She's that proportion, <laughs> isn't she? Her head's a bit small on her neck. She's out of proportion. 
Poof. Just well, a big gill. Yeah, so giant, giant tusks. Mm. And how much is all this? This um, all these you know headdresses and even the clothes and everything. Like, how much like Star Wars is it? Yeah, it seems excessive, doesn't it? Making I mean, like... imagine how long it would just take to get dressed, especially some of the women. I mean, and, and undress. That's got to be a big part of your day. I mean, yeah. what's what's the reason behind it? Right. It's not, yeah. It's, it's got to be a good reason. To There's an hour to get Zeke going, just putting that on, and an hour to get it off. Yeah. And then you, you know, how do you how do you wash these, you know, these clothes without good, good point. hurting them? That right. is a brilliant point. Especially the ones with all the jewels and everything all through them. Yeah, they're not that really nice back in the 14th century. <laughs> not for the cognitive. Yeah, it's so impractical. Uh, all that mud around as well, like, you know, their dresses dragging. <laughs> yeah. and, and they stayed well, that's like the thing. That. They show us that they would dress like this, and then they say, oh, yeah, then they worked in the fields all day for 14 hours. I mean, really? <laughs> dress like that? I mean, these people, this, these clothes, they don't look like the clothes that manual workers would wear, do they? Nah. No. They don't really look like the clothes that any kind of workers would wear. They look, they look like the clothes that people who just sort of walked around and had everything they needed and didn't really care would wear. Elite fashions. Yeah. Yeah, the, the 19th century clothing to me is the most bizarre because... I got my son, you'll have to go soon, guys. Didn't they have summertime? Yeah. Well, they'd have been in the forest, weren't they? We all look like Robin Hood. <laughs> green, green tights. Green tights. Yeah, many tights, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and a feather in your cap. That's what they did to us. They hate us. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff. The top hats. They didn't right. have... They didn't have warm days. They didn't have wind. So, hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's, it. it's true, isn't it? Thing. Like every photo, they've all got the same clothes on. The, the temperature doesn't seem to change. UAP guys, I got a bounce. I got my son yet, and then he's still all right. So, yeah, yeah, I got. Oh, it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I got a choice. I've been here. Oh, he's he's visiting. So, Jesus, what's? Oh my okay. gosh, what was that? Buddy? Two hours. Yeah. Cool, yeah. It goes quick. <laughs> Flies by. And he's does, doesn't it? Yeah. And he sings. <laughs> he survival things. <laughs> Two hours, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, that's what we're doing. 